Did you know the God of the Bible is the devil? Hello, human. Did you know that out of all the critics I've encountered, your arguments are probably the worst? <laughs> Professing to be wise, you have become a fool. Listen, I'm not going to allow you to be intellectually dishonest. When God kills someone, is God murdering that person? Well, no, God can't murder like you and I can murder. God is the creator of life, and the creator has the right to give and take away life whenever the creator wants. Now, use your brain. Technically, God has killed every single person who has ever lived in this world, well, who was not murdered by another human being. <laughs> but, uh, and this is the key, if Christianity is true, People don't die, they merely change locations. Now your argument is a classic example of a straw man fallacy because you're creating a false position about Christianity and then attacking your false position. It's intellectually dishonest. The creator has the right to relocate his creation, especially if the person he created used his or her gift of free will to do evil. Which brings up my next point. Your next fatal flaw in your argument is that you assume that God's judgment on people is unjust and unwarranted. But you're a walking contradiction because, well, one, you're trying to argue that God is immoral when you have no absolute standard of morality by which to measure immorality. And two, you complain when God does nothing about evil, and then you complain when God finally does something about evil. <laughs> and further, God does not kill arbitrarily. God doesn't just wake up one morning like a mafia boss. This group of people, I want them dead. I don't have a reason for it. I just want them dead. <laughs> no. In stark contrast, God always provides mercy and warning prior to judgment. In fact, you have been given plenty of warning and have received much mercy so far. And so when you will be judged by the king, you will be without excuse. You have been warned several times that you need to repent. Oh, and P.S. In order to argue that God is the devil and committed unjust and unwarranted murder, well, you would have to presuppose God's existence. So, does God exist or not? Don't try.